The first exercise I did surprised me very much. It was an exercise in concentration. There were two noises in the room. Uh, you would say there was a clock and uh, something else going on, like something in the streets, like you would say the ducks right now or something like that. And I had to concentrate on one sound until I couldn't hear the other anymore. So I had to, to absolutely glue my entire mind onto one sound. And then I would tell him, that's it. I, I, for the last minute, I only heard this. And I think this is one of the great uh, talent of an actor like De Niro, for instance. De Niro is not 100% concentrated on the part he plays or the actor he's playing with, but 200%. His concentration is something staggering. So that was the first lesson. Then he broke down the... Uh, we started working on a scene. Uh, we would have to read the scene. And he would ask me, now what do you think is the meaning of the scene? What is the scene about? Then what is your character about? Who is she? What does she want? And then how does she try to get what she wants? Slowly, in a surreptitious way, uh, or overtly, or mad, or uh, slyly, uh, coquettishly, all that sort of, all those colors, and then he would say, and what is her rhythm? Her outward rhythm, her inner rhythm. And what goes on inside while she says the words outside? Is there something else going on inside? And we would do exercises. He would give me a, a situation and say inside she wants to kill that man. She loathes him so much, but she has to be polite and so she has to ask him politely and so on. Different situations. So the inside must be there. And when you see it on camera, you can see it. But it is not revealed outside. It's a, what we call the second layer. Uh, then exercises went on like this for a long time. Mark. I hear this one, <laughs> even though I'm concentrated. <laughs> Finally, uh, George and the Stanislavski method teaches you to break down a script, the whole play, as if you were the director, so that you know what the whole script is about, where the important scenes are where the throwaway scenes are and you you know the uh, the line of the scenes and you have to decide which are the main points in your character the main climaxes and you have to balance them accordingly so in other words the actor is supposed to put himself at the service of the script and of the director and not just be selfish and you know this is my I'm the star this is my film this is my part this is whatever so this is a, an attitude that uh, a very conscientious wonderful attitude that the Stanislavski method and George taught me <laughs> <laughs>